what up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly truly grateful to all those who have been coming back to watch my videos and if you are new here i invite you to join this family let us grow this motorcycle vlogging journey together so subscribe to the channel so we can share ideas on motorcycles so guys today i'm going to install a top tank for my uh, 2019 honda cb500x i've had this bike for about a year and a half now and I mostly use it for commuting to work and occasional ride, ride out fun. And one of the things I enjoy the most about this bike is the light weight of it. And for that reason, I didn't want to install too many accessories on it unless and if it was necessary. But the time has come for me to install a top box on my bike because uh, sometimes I need to carry a few things like my laptop and a few other things, especially on my way to work and back. So I decided to go for a top box for my 2019 Honda CB500X. I don't really have a need for the three boxes, so the, the side boxes. All I need is one big one that can contain all the things that I carry. So um, I'm going to bring you an installation video of my top tank. And before I do that, I'll just quickly show you the tank that I got and uh, the rack that I got for my bike. All right, guys, so I'm quickly going to show you the tank that I bought. I bought this tank of um, the biggest e-commerce website in China, and that's Taobao.com. And as you can see, it's branded LSAGV, whatever it is. But it is the top box that is uh, meant for motorcycles. So I'll just open it up and show you how it looks in. Well, I purchased the uh, 50 liter size because that's what works for me I saw it somewhere in a shop before and I thought that a 50 liter size was best fit for my purpose so that's what I purchased let me open it and show you how it looks inside When I open it up, this is what it looks like. The inside has been lined with this really nice uh, sort of leather uh, with a beautiful pattern and it has packets up here. And um, yeah, it's pretty spacious. And what that means is when you put things in there, it's not just gonna easily rattle against the, 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 the metal. Um, so, yeah and uh, it locks just like any of the other brands so you pull it down and then this lever comes up holds onto it you press it down and then you can lock and take your key away and this bottom part is this hook is the part that hooks onto the the rack on the bike All right guys, so now I'm showing you the rack that I purchased for the installation. As you can see, I got the complete pack, which these, this unit and that unit are meant for the side panniers or the side boxes. And this one is for the tail box. And this is a bar that connects both uh, uh, on the rear. And these are the bolts and nuts that are supposed to be used for, for the installation process. Now, you might ask why I purchased um, the rack for three boxes, but only purchased one box. So I don't need the three boxes at the moment. And I think it's a necessary weight on the bike. All I need is one uh, top box to be able to carry my things, uh, my belongings when I'm riding uh, to, to and from work. So that's the reason why I got just one box but in the future if I have the need for two, uh, the two side boxes if for example I'm going to travel or I'm going to go on a trip then I can easily purchase those two boxes and slap them on there and I'm ready to go. So that's the reason behind my uh, choice of purchase. So I'm just going to move 
I'm just going to move to my motorcycle and start the installation process. Stay with me. Alright, so guys, as you can see, the installation is done and I must say I'm impressed. It looks pretty neat. So like I said, I only got one top box and in the future, if I need the side boxes, I can just buy them and uh, put them there. But as it stands, I don't need it right now. So I'll just take you around so you can see how it looks like after the installation. At the moment, I don't have a torque wrench, so I'm going to go to a motorcycle shop with my manual so they can uh, torque up the bolts and nuts properly for me. But the installation itself is pretty much done and I can, I can start enjoying my top box right away. Alright guys, so that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment and tell us what boxes you're using for your Honda CB500X. So guys, thanks so much again. If this is your first time, once again, do me a favor, click the subscribe button so we can grow this channel together. So I see you in the next video, guys. Ride legal, ride safe. Peace.